hello guys welcome back to my kitchen so today i'll be doing a let's cook with me video it's dinner time in the uk and i'm hungry so um i'm gonna be cooking my dinner with you today so i went to the supermarket i did a little small food shop and these are some of the items that i got i got um a pack of um potatoes it's um red skin potatoes as i do prefer this one to the um the brown kind of white skin one so i got red skin potatoes i got some mixed peppers i got um onion i got a whole packet but i'm gonna be using one to cook so i therefore i put one here um it's a uh, savloy cabbage green savloy cabbage and then a normal white cabbage and i got a packet of um salmon fillets i think it's four that's in yeah four salmon fillets in the in the packet so this is what i'll be using to cook my dinner today we're gonna figure this out together guys as um these are just like some of the items that i got and i felt for some salmon so i'm definitely gonna be cooking salmon and i think i'm just gonna do some mashed potatoes since i got this whole packet of potatoes and i'm gonna do some steamed cabbage can't um have a meal without your veggies and um i don't know what i'm gonna do with the salmon yet guys honestly we're gonna figure this out together guys we'll definitely be figuring this out together so um salmon salmon i'm just gonna be do i just want the quickest and easiest thing to cook with this salmon guys um i think i'll do some i don't know probably fry and then cook it down i'm not certain of what to do yet oh actually i think we'll do some sweet chili salmon that's like the quick and easiest thing that i can think of if i've got sweet chili sauce in my cupboard yay so i've got sweet chili sauce so we'll definitely be doing some sweet chili salmon some mashed potatoes and some steamed cabbage that's my dinner today and you'll be cooking it with me are you excited <laughs> i'm just gonna clear my work area and then i'll come back to peel the potatoes so my workspace is clear and i'll start by peeling a few of these potatoes to do my mashed potatoes so i'm just gonna use that small pot you already know this pot because I do cook with this pot a lot. Um, I went to the shops the other day where I bought them. Where I bought this one, it was a whole set, I think, consisted of three pots, three different sizes. I went back to the shop that I bought it, but they did not have any because I do love this pot. And I do, um, well, I've had it from I first moved um, into my flat. I bought this. Um, this is my first pot that I bought and it's been about six years now and me and it are still going strong. It's a good pot to cook rice in or, you know, I don't cook a lot because as I said, it's just me. So, um, but I'm not gonna say it's just me. My family is very small. So, um, yeah, I don't need to cook a lot of food. So, um, yeah, my pots are very small and this is my favorite pot to cook in. So you will see this pot a lot. And I think I'm just going to get a second set of the same three pots. So I guess I'll just have to keep checking the um the shop where I bought it initially and see if they've got it. And then I'll, um, I'll check back with them. So anyway, this is how I do my potatoes for um, my mash. I literally just peel the skin off. Peel the skin off. Then I um, slice in two. And I slice that half. And then I just do like little cubes kind of thing. And um, yeah, literally just do this. Um, basically, there's nothing special to how I do the potatoes because it's going to be mashed anyway. So you don't have to have a particular size or a particular shape. If they've got like similar sizing, I guess um, they'll all boil um, at the same time instead of you having some that's cooked and then others that are undercooked. 
so i guess if you have like similar um sizes then that will be better for the cooking time and that will make sure that you have the same consistency when you mash the potatoes so yeah guys so i think i've got a few more to um to peel and cut i do i'll do that off camera as i don't want this video to be too long and you know just me chatting about nothing i'll go and peel the rest of these off camera and when i'm finished peeling all of it all of what i'll be using then i will come back so guys i've literally peeled like half of this bag of potatoes so this is what i'll be working with that much um i'll just wash them fill the pot with water and then um just get rid of this and then i'll come back guys so guys um i washed the potatoes and i filled the pot with water and um i'm just gonna leave that to cook i'm just adding some salt it's um pink himalayan salt that my dad um got me apparently i use i should not be using the processed salt i should be using natural salt but i thought i was because i was using sea salt but my dad said that brand is not a good brand so he got me this salt it's pink himalayan fine salt so um this is what i'll be using from now on so yeah so now i'll get onto my steamed veggies so um just use a couple of these leaves about four leaves of the um green savoy cabbage i love this cabbage it's so good and it's so crunchy so i literally just be taking out the impurities picking the impurities off some of these leaves because some of them you can see like they've been eaten by bugs and stuff so instead of wasting the whole leaf i'll just take the impurities off them yes that one's good that one just there that needs to go 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 so yeah just put them together there's no special way but um i won't be using these bits either so um i'll just try to take those out these big chunks take those off that's too much cabbage on there Then I'll just cut what I've got left. Normally just roll it in like a little circle. Roll it like that. And then I cut. Let me bring that there so you can see. So that's what I normally do. Just roll and cut. Take out these big chunks of um, like the stalk of the leaves. Just normally take those off because I don't want to be eating those. Cut, cut, cut. Then that green bit's done. 
And I'm gonna do a piece of the white cabbage. I only use this white cabbage because I really do like the texture of this. Let me get a bigger knife. I really do like the texture of the white cabbage. So I'm just gonna be using that bit. Then I'll just cut that as well. So I think for um like added color and stuff, I will be adding some of my frozen veggies to this. Let me just give that a chop. So that the leaves are not so big just cut them further because some of these leaves will come out big if you don't do that there's method to my madness guys there is method to my madness give that a little chop as well and then this is my cabbage for my steamed veggies. Don't know what pot I'm gonna cook that in yet. Cause I do not wanna put it in a big pot. Cause you know, once you put this cabbage in the pot, it's gonna reduce to just a, a fraction of what I've got here. So I think I'll just use the smallest pot that I've got. And um, yeah, I'll just get my pot, get my, veggies from my frozen veggies from the fridge and then I'll put that pot on to cook as well so guys this is my next pot from my favorite pot set that's the smallest one that's what I'll be using for my veggies so let me just turn the stove on there on a medium heat I've got my um frozen veggies from the um, freezer I decided that I'm not gonna use the mixed peppers so I'll just put those back in the fridge won't be using them today I'll just use this frozen veg instead as it's got like carrots and sweet corn and string bean and stuff in there so I don't think I'll need you know, the mixed peppers so I'll wash these um, while the pot heats through, I'll wash them and I'll come back. So my cabbage has been washed and the pot is, is hot so I'll add some of my favorite, you already know my coconut oil. I'll add some of that to the pot. There. Then, while that melts, I'll add um, some of the frozen veggies. I'm adding these first so that the ice will come from them as it's, it's frozen. So I'll add some of that first in there. That's enough. I added it first just to take out some of the, um, the ice that's in there. Then um, I'll add the cabbage so that everything stings together. Stack on pile, stack on pile. So there you go. Put that in there and I'll put the um the lid on and let the steam do its thing. So um just leave that there on a low heat to do its thing. And I think I'll get my salmon. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash the salmon with some vinegar and lime. And um, I'll come back to season and I'll start doing my salmon things. So my salmon has been washed with um, salt. Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at the salt with vinegar and lime now I'll just be giving it a quick little rub up with some Old Bay just quick little rubbins rubbins to add some flavor to that because you know we are black people Jamaicans to be exact and we like seasoning on our food so I'm adding some seasoning so, yep, that is that. Added that seasoning. I'm gonna get my pot ready up and come back. So guys, this is my pot that I'll be using to cook my salmon in. So I'll just put that on, turn the stove on, and I'll get my stuff ready. So while my pot's being hot, I'm checking on my cabbage. Give that a mix to make sure. Huh. Labeling. Get a little stir. The pot is on the lowest heat, guys. So there you go, it's steaming through just fine. So I'll just cover up the pot, leave it for another few minutes. So, so, so. In my pot for my salmon, I'll just literally add some butter. is a lot of things. While that's going on, I'll add some garlic. It's literally three cloves of garlic. And I'll be adding, I just literally cut them in two. And I'll be adding that to the pot. And then to that, I'll add some just for added flavor added flavor for the salmon then I'll just add a couple pieces of my salmon in there to fry to cook up my salmon And that so I don't want to crowd the pot so I literally add two pieces at a time because I've got four pieces of salmon so I'll leave that there to cook through but this kitchen smells so good so while my salmon is doing its thing I'll check on my potatoes I think they're ready to be mashed. Yeah, my potatoes are ready. So I'll um, put the lid on, turn the stove off, and I'll drain that in a bit. Just turn my salmon over. To be so gentle with these because they will break apart. I need a spatula. Let me change that. Get my spatula.
So I think this piece is ready to come out. That's what it's looking like. Just put down a piece of paper towel while I turn this piece over. Let it cook on that side. Then I'll add another piece to the top. So I've added the last two pieces of salmon to the pot. While they're doing all the I think this is ready to come out as well. I'm using my phone to record. So it's been playing off. Turn that over. Let that do its thing. And I will add just a little sprinkle of that ove to the veggies. Just a little bit, and I will add a little bit of salt as well. Just a little sprinkle to that. Not a lot, just a sprinkle. Then I'll just give that a quick little ting ting. Let me that down. Give that a quick little thing. That sound that you hear in the background is my extractor. As I'm frying the salmon, so the extractor takes the heat out of the kitchen as well as the smell from the fried fish. So my veggie is just about ready. Not a lot of nothing on there. So my bed, I'll turn the stove off. And then leave my veggies there to cook. Well, it's finished anyway. Just that little extra steaming through. Leave my fish to get a little more brown. Turn that over once more. Get a little bit more brown. Like the others. So first I think I'm gonna drain my potatoes. Then I'll um I'll come back. Then I'll drain my potatoes, take that last piece of salmon from the pot, and I'll just um do my potatoes, then I'll do my salmon, do my little sauce for my salmon. So I'm gonna take this from the pot. Then I'll clear the pot out, like just throw away um, the, the pieces of garlic and thyme, um, drain the, um, the excess oil from the pot, and then I'll come back and make my sauce. So guys, I'm back. My veggies are ready. This is what my veggies are looking like. Already like Freddy. So I'll just... Leave that there so um yeah I'm gonna do my mashed potatoes now just a quick mash quick quick mash so first I will I have drained the water from this so first I'll turn the stove back on and I'll put it at a low heat I'll add some almond milk almond milk I'll add some of that to the pot not a lot just so I have some liquid in there to help the potatoes mash faster just smash that
then to that I will add some butter you know I'm using that butter Miller pack spreadable I'll just add one to that and then half to it to the machines then I'll be adding some mayo some mayonnaise I'm not doing no measurements shaking and eh. so I literally did what one two three four five six squeeze if that helps <laughs> six squeeze of that of the mayo then I'll just smash that together so my butter my mayo and some almond milk and I'll just smash everything together and get my spoon. Clear that off. This is um like I've got about five or six different ways that I mash um potatoes. Literally got like five or six different ways, if not more. But I mean as I go along, you'll see my different ways in which I mash my potatoes. This is just one of my methods. Not how I mash the potatoes, but like different ingredients and stuff that I use. This is just um, some black pepper that I'm adding to the mash. It's not in a black paper, um, black pepper container, to be honest. You know what we are like. We've got different containers that we don't want to throw out. So we just add different stuff. Like, you know, you see a butter container in the fridge. When you go to open it, thinking it's butter, it's not. It's probably some leftover chicken or some leftover rice and peas or something, something like that. They don't know already. So even though it's a seasoning container, I think it's like a fish seasoning container. But I put my black pepper in there because when I bought my black pepper in like a big um, sachet I needed something to put it in so when I'm using it it's more manageable as opposed to um, having it in a sachet bag because I buy um, like black pepper and stuff like that in bulk mainly so that's been mashed just use a spoon to take the excess off take the excess off then I'll just use my spoon to make sure that everything is distributed evenly the stove's still on by the way But yeah, that's the consistency that it's got. Hope you can see that. And um, yeah, that is that. It's not smooth. There's no, yeah, it's no special thing. It's just one of my methods, as I said, of doing my mash. So that is ready. What I'll do is I'll put the lid back on. And I'll leave it on the stove, but I'll turn the stove off and I'll get to my, oh, there's some mashed potato there. And I'll get to my, um, turn the stove back on. I'll get to my salmon. So I've cleaned the pot up. So I've got my pot on the stove. I've, I've cleaned my pot up. I've um, taken it off the stove, drained the oil and everything off that. So now I'll just be doing a sauce. First, I'll add some ketchup to the pot. The stove's on and it's on a medium high. So I'm adding some ketchup to that. And 
then I'll add some sweet chili sauce. Sweet chili sauce. Then I will add a little tip, not a lot. That's some honey. I'd say about a teaspoon and a half. Then I'll combine that. Then I will add some water to that. It's water from the kettle. It's already hot. I pre boil the kettle and I'll add the water to that. Just combine that. I think I'll add some more sweet chili sauce to the pot because it's not a lot that's left in the bottle anyway so I'll just add all of that to the pot why am I always on here cooking and using my sauces when they're almost finished <laughs> they're always almost at the last bit when I'm doing a video so I'll swivel out the bottle and I'll add that to the pot. And there you go. I'll just combine everything. Everything. Let me give that a little taste in my hand. Yep, that sauce is ready. Ready like Freddy. So it's ketchup, honey, and sweet chili sauce for my sweet chili salmon. I'll put the lid on and leave that to come to a boil. Then I'll be adding the salmon. So that has come to a boil. There you go. Butter bubble. Now I'll just add my salmon to that. Then I'll turn the stove off. Just add my salmon. Get a spoon. So I've added my salmon to the pot and then I'm the stove is off basically. Just bring it to a boil, add my salmon to the pot, then turn the stove off. Even though it's bubbling, the stove's off. So I'll just leave that there, put the lid back on, and that is that. So I'll, I've done my dinner guys, thank you for helping me to cook my food. So that's sweet chili salmon, that's mashed potato, and that's steamed veggies. So guys, my dinner is ready. I'm gonna dish me a plate and I'll come back and let you see what's going on. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, bye.